Hello, Disney friends. Today, I want to do something different. Um, we want to talk about the value of the older pins and how sometimes I um, look at value of older pins. Um, so a while back, long time ago, <laughs> actually, um, I was able to get this book back down at Disney World when I went to go visit. Um, this book right here is a guide. It's a pin trading guide. Now, every year they came out with one of these. This is actually the sixth edition one <laughs> and it's got so many pins from way back like tons and tons it actually will give you letters and the letters actually talk about the values of different pins um i was very fortunate i got this one back in 2008 so from 2008 and going back has all the pins and i'm telling you all the pins <laughs> there is like it even says down below how many pins there are in this book um and you better believe it, there are tons of pins. But I've actually started going through this because it gets I haven't been it through it in a while. Um, but I was looking I was I found it in one of my drawers and I was like, oh, I forgot like I had this to go back through it all. Um, so I thought, oh, you know, after like starting to go back through it, I was like, you know, I bet my viewers probably like this book too. I think it's so much fun. Um, and so I've been already like going through some of my older pins, trying to find them in here. Um, and just looking to see what the value was at the time. So this is back again, 2008. They do the value of what they think the pins are. And of course, some of them have gone up now because, you know, we've had a couple more now years. Um, but still, it's a lot, a lot of fun to try to find the pins that you have in this book and just to see what the values are. So this one right here is like a 2003 pin. It's a little friend, but I don't know if you can see it. Um, but look at that. So cute. But again, it's a 2003, and I actually did find it in this book, so I will show you. But I have a couple other pins that I have over here that I've already found in this book, and I can show you the value. But it's so, I mean, telling you, this is so cool. This book is so awesome, and it's got so many pins. Um, and right at the beginning, so here, is how they do the value guide. So it's got different letters and where they think it's at. So they might sit there and say, A is under 15, but it might say like an A minus for a pin, or B minus, or B, or B plus, and where the value would be in this. So I think it's really cool. Um, and I thought, hey, you know what? I think we're gonna, I'm gonna share this with you guys and see what you guys think. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this book after I show you some of the pages. And at the same time, I'm also curious, do you have any of these books? Do you have any of the old um, guides to pin trading? And do you use it still? Um, cause again, there are some pins in this book where I'm like, I forgot about them. So now I'm like <laughs> trying to hunt them down. Cause I'm like, Oh, that's right. I wanted that, but I wanted that one. Or I wonder if that one's still out there somewhere. So let's take a look and you'll see what I mean. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to open up this guide and I want to start on page 84. And I really want to start up here. So these, these were some of the first pins I remember seeing when I was down at Disney working there. So for those who don't know, I had actually at one point was working for Disney World. That's actually kind of how I got into pin trading way back in the day. Um, so some of these all came back out in 2002. Um, and they were for pin trades of the month. Like, so these were like pins that came out each month. So like it started with Tinkerbell, um, Dumbo, and it kind of went all the way through. Every month they came up with a new one. I went all the way over to Mickey Mouse. So what you do is you go down here. So you can see this one would say like DW5308. And you would come down here. And right here, you can talk about animation. So these were animation Legends Pins of the Month. This came, these came out in 2002. They were LE5000s each. So here it would give Tinkerbell and it would give it a, so some of them are all, if you notice, these are all different. So this one, they said Tinkerbell was B, Dumbo was an A plus. So they give you different values for each of them all the way down through. So I do have Tinkerbell. So I'm gonna show you, see, I have Tinkerbell right here. Here she is. And then see how she flips. And so this is like the sketch drawing of her. And then right here on the side, I think it says that it's a limited edition of 5,000. And again, this is an oldie but goodie. 
I love this one. So I do have her. I actually have her. I know I have um, Aurora, which I have her. Look at her. She's so beautiful. And then again, the sketch one of her. So see how it's like this is such a cool pen. Again, a 2002 pen, um, but simply gorgeous. So I have these two, but I also have Mickey Mouse. Um, I have Figaro. So I have a couple of these. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really awesome. Um, so again, this is what's cool about the book is, is you can come down here and you can actually check them all out. And you can be like, so this way, if you're, if you're wondering, like if you get like a book like this, what I loved about these books is that sometimes I didn't know all the pins that were in a series. So here I got to figure, find out where are all the pins and if I was missing any, which I really loved. So oh, I just absolutely love this book. Like here, I've seen these, I've seen these. I don't have any of these Minnie Mouses that she was dressed up all the princesses, but these were quite popular. I would like to, <gasps> and I've been wanting to get this one. Ah, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna have to go back, <laughs> go back and check it out. I get, I get so overwhelmed. I'm like, ah, oh, I like every time I look through this book, there's always like more and more pins. Like I love trains. I love anything to do like the parades and trains, like the parade pins coming out this year. But look at the train from like way back. Like, isn't this cool? Like, wouldn't you love to have this train? There's just so many cool pins. And again, it tells you all the pins down here. And if they were LEs, I mean, it's just, it's, this book is awesome. This book is awesome. Um, there's some times where I really wish they continued these, but I can understand that it got probably too many pins and they probably just couldn't do it anymore. But look at all these. So here again, I did talk about this one. So these are the friends pins. And again, these all came out in 2003. So again, I have this one right here, which is Bambi and Flower. So here we have DW5461. So you would go down here, have Bambi Flower. So here it would say it's a B minus. And showing you the pin. Oh, it's you pretty. See again in the back, it says, 2003 and this is a limited edition of a thousand I never realized when I picked up that pin <laughs> way back I was like oh it's just so cool and then afterwards I was like oh it's a limited edition of a thousand that's why I love these books because it actually talks about it and again I'll tell you like this was the friend series and each of them was a limited edition of a thousand and and, and sometimes they're usually about always about the same but every once in a while you can come across a series where it'll it'll change some of the prices like it'll just be like like one will be a B plus. Somehow that one became more valuable. Maybe it's because more people were seeking it out during that time period. Um, but I just thought that was really cool. And there are actually two, I think there was two pal Mickeys. They were still, still the same price, but there were two versions and one was actually an LE of 750. So I think that's, I'm not sure. These right here. See? So sometimes people will actually have two pins and they're like, oh, one must be fake. One must be real. But sometimes they actually had different versions of the same pin, but they just have different versions. Oh, I have that one. I have that one. Oh, I don't have that one though. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting so I can understand. Like, it's just, this book is so overwhelming and so awesome. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you some of them on this page. Oh, do you even, I like that one. Look at that pin. That's a really cool pin. That's a really, really neat pin. I don't even think I've ever seen that one. That one's really cool. All right. I know there's some more pins I want to show you guys. Oh, these are such awesome pins. Look at them all. So great. Now, where was the ones I want to show you? Okay. That's where I want to get into. <laughs> so here I want to show you. So it's these are where they started on um, the cast lanyard exclusives so starting in late spring of 2002 they actually started a series it was the it was a lanyard cast um, series you could find them on a cast member and again these started back in 2002 so these all were started and these were all the ones you could get and look at this it just goes all the way through again these are all 2002 because that's when it all started when it started to get more into kind of trading with the cast members so these were special series that were just available on cast members lanyards because they really wanted people to start trying to trade and do more pin trading 
which I thought was really cool. Um, so here, of course, everybody knows this set. If you've been on my, um, seeing my more of my videos, I did recently a pins where I have all these. See, it gives you all of them right here. See, all my six dogs. <laughs> Hello. And again, these are all the originals. I really always was freaked out when he was on my lanyard because his eyes are red and I don't understand that, but he's pretty cool. Uh, I'm okay with him now. <laughs> We're okay now. Um, but still, like all these dogs you could find on a lanyard and if you saw it and you pin traded with a cast member, you could only get this from a cast member. They still do this now, but it's a little bit different now because um, they have boards and sometimes eventually they'll put them in bags and then you can just get them through mystery bags. But before you couldn't do that, you only could get them on a cast member and that was it. Um, so this is the series that I had gotten. And again, if you want to know more about these or if, if you want to figure out if one was more valuable than the others, you can actually go through and you would find them. So here we have, so see the puppies and they're all A's. Again, I will show you at the beginning of the book what all these different letters mean. Because, like, the A, A meant that it was under $15. So they thought the value back then under $15. Again, this is 2007. This book came out. So, of course, value has gone up because, in general, prices of pins have gone up. So, you know, you might be paying a little bit more now. Um, but I would say close to around 15 or so dollars. These are all, again, all the Dalmatian puppies. See how it says red-eyed? He was supposed to be red-eyed, galloping. Like they have all of them here. Um, but again, so these are them. Oh, I have a couple of these too. I think I have him. Oh, that's so cool. And I have, oh, see, I have, I have him. Look at that. I have figment. There he is. See, I had gotten him off a of lanyard. So he's pretty cool. And he's a 2002. Some of these are 2002, 2003, but this one's again, this one is a 2002 one that I had gotten off a of lanyard. There were so many on lanyards. Um, even after when I was off work, I would go around with my own pins and try to see if I can pin trade with guests and other cast members. It was so much fun. So, yeah, that's how I got Figment. And Figment, I'm 20. Um, he's right here. And right now he is an A, but I would probably put him like more like an A plus because he, he seems like he's moved up in value. When it comes to figment, most of the time figments have gone up. Um, and then these were fun. I used to get quite a bit of these. So these are the princess castles. I don't remember seeing her, hers as much. Uh, that's Snow White's cottage. Um, but I know I got an Aladdin a couple times, but I definitely, definitely got this one. And I've seen a lot of fakes of Ariel's, um, but I do have one of hers that is actually authentic. Um, so, so beautiful. You can totally tell the difference between when I mean, you have both of them and you have, a, you know, one of the authentic ones and you have a fake, you can definitely tell the, <laughs> the real from the fake. Um, and again, this one came out again in 2002. Um, actually the fake, um, if you look at it, I think if I remember right, little is spelt wrong. So, and these up here, see how they're like, they kind of go up there kind of like on edge. It's a big circle on top. That's how you can tell when it's a fake one. It's not like all pretty like this and shiny. Oh, love this pin. I'm so glad I have one of the originals. <laughs> so if you want to see if any of these, if you had any of these and what their values would be, you can go look here. Snow White Castle. Hot. There he goes, Triton. So here it says it's an A. So they're estimating at the time that it was still under $15 if you were interested in what the value would be. Again, you couldn't buy these, these pins. None of these pins you could buy. You had to get them off a lanyard um, back then. But these are what they're estimating what the value would be in 2007. So in 2007, this is where they were trying to put the value pins which is why I like this book because it really kind of helped me out when it came to my pins. Of course, some pins are more valued to you than others due to the fact that a lot of them hold memories um, when you got them. Um, sometimes that too can actually up the value for yourself. Um, Cause I know I have a lot of pins and to me they're, they're priceless because I remember all the memories I had from them. But look at all these, isn't it? Like, do you see any that you own? And you're like, oh, I would love to like know more about that pin. 
Because there's just so many cool pins in this book. Oh, look at all. These are just all the ones, like, cast member lanyards. Like, amazing. And I remember so many of these <laughs> on lanyards back then. So it's so crazy to see them all in this book. Oh, look. See? Everybody. Okay. Again, if you've been on my channel, you guys know that I have the big hair collection. So here we have two of them over here. And we have them over here. And of course, if I remember right, I had seen the value of these. And they're, again, an A. Um, but if you were looking for the real ones, I have them over here. Look at them. They are so beautiful. And again, in the back, it'll tell you. So this one, again, is a 2003. It's a lanyard pin series. They all say that. Yep, these all came off. There's, there was five of them. Those are the lanyard series. But again, aren't they so cool? Oh, I have him too. Oh, look at Stitch. Oh, I have these three. I think I've shown these three before. Actually, I think I did I pull one out to show you guys. Yes, I did. <gasps> there he is. So cute. But yeah, it just I'm telling you, when you go through this book, you kind of want to look at all your pins. <laughs> And be like, oh, there it is. And then you can, like, go down below and, like, check them out and where they are. Now, I do have some of these. So, these were, oh, I remember these. These are so beautiful. These were, like, the, the ones that had, like, the stained glass behind them. I absolutely love these. I have the aerial one. So, if you want to see that one, I have it right here. Look at that. But see that behind? Isn't that gorgeous? And if you look really closely, I used to think this was a flower. It's actually not a flower. It is flounder. Isn't that funny? I used to think it was a flower. <laughs> it's not. Oh, but they put her in that green dress and they had then put yellow, which I thought was really pretty. Of course, with flounder now, now that I know it's flounder. Um, but again, this was an older pen. This is a 2003 pen. Um, but it's so, so beautiful. It was a pin on pin. I remember when this one came out. Oh, I kind of now wish I would have gotten them all because they're just, they are so beautiful. But look at that. So you have all of them right here. Does anybody else have one of these pins? They're just so pretty. Oh, and I have her too. That's right. That one came out too. See, there it is. That was actually one of the first pins I actually got. It had the swirls behind it. And it had all the princesses' names. This one's Ariel. It's again, 2003. So pretty with the gold trim. And they, again, there they she was over here. And then you have Belle. And then there was some more over here. So, so you have all the princesses. And they always added Tinkerbell. So back then, Tinkerbell was part of the princess series line. Um, so every time they had a princess series line, they always added Tinkerbell in. But now that she has more of her own friends, she has gone on to her own line. And they've added the other princesses in now for the princess line. But again, back then, she was part of the princess line. Oh, I so want this monorail. It is so awesome. But I know this pin in particular is going to be really hard and really expensive. <laughs> But it's so cool. And this train, too. I've seen pieces of this train. I would love to collect this train. I did not realize back then they had this train. But that is a really cool train. Um, but again, if you want to find out, like this one, this one's, again, those uh, the stained glass series. Here they are, all, all A's. Although, I would say now they're probably definitely B's. You know, they've definitely moved up in value. Um, but yeah, if you look at the train sets, the train sets I just showed you guys, they're so, so awesome. Oh, where's the train set? Ah, the train series. But look at that. So here, they were all A's, but they're not, I I know they're more than just A's. And the monorails, some of these have gone up even higher up in value. I mean, look at the figment one. He, there was so much less of him too. So he was only 400. So these were all like, that's why I would love to get the monorail, but I know it would be like almost impossible because they were all different LEs. Even Minnie, look at Minnie. She's an E. She's way up there like to get her because she was only 200 back then. And that was, didn't have a lot of 200s, but look at that. Oh, it'd be so much fun to try to, to get, but I know this would be really hard. Uh, but this one would be kind of fun to get. And I probably could be able to get all the train one, which again would be this one right here. 
that one would be such a fun one to get to. So we'll see. And these made me laugh because these are the Coca-Cola ones. And I can't even tell you how many times I had saw this on my lanyard, especially this series. I had the, <laughs> I had the love of the Snow White. I think Snow White had like came out around the time I was getting hired at Disney World. And yeah, these, these were on my lanyard quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize how many they had. So this is all of them. That's cool. All right, look at that. Oh, this, I'm telling you, like, I don't know what you guys are, are thinking about this book, but this is just so much fun to go through. All right, so right now over in Epcot, <laughs> I know we have the Flower and Garden Festival, right? And they have new pins. But look, this is all from the Flower and Garden Festival, even be like way back before 2007. I mean, well, during 2007, but beyond that. So I had... I had one. I have this one in particular right here. This is the Lady and the Tramp one. Um, see, there we go. This is a really old one. I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. This is for the 10th anniversary. So already, the Flower and Garden Festival, this was like the 10th anniversary of it. And this was a 2003. And this was also a limited edition. This is a limited edition of 1,000. But it was so, oh, I love this one. So pretty. Um, so, yeah. So, if I wanted to see it now, what it would be, I can go look at the number. So, DX2531. Then you would go down. And we have a Lady and the tra Oh, 3000. Sorry. <laughs> and it says B minus. But, of course, by now, it's more, if I looked online, um, it's more like a B plus. But again, it's such a beautiful pin. But they have all of them here. There are so many. And you can go through them all. And again, you might even have some of these. But these are so cool. Look at all the pins in this book. Ah, it's so awesome and overwhelming. There was another one I wanted to show. So I wanted to show you guys this one too. So over here we had um, Stitch. So these were the Stitch um, action and adventure pins, which I really loved. And of course, I have the Rock and Roller Coaster one. <sighs> Absolutely love this pin. Um, him on the Rock and Roller Coaster again. This was two thousand five. Um, it's a pin on pin. It's such a cool pin. I, I was, I'm obsessed with the rock and roller coaster. So when I saw this pin, I knew I had to have it. Um, again, it will tell you right here. So these were all the different ones from different rides, all the attractions. I would love to get that one someday, but some of these are really, really hard to get. Um, but I think if I remember right, it's on this page where they even have, they even have him on the tower of terror too. <sighs> I love to see those. And then back to the tour so he is the rock and roller coaster one he says here was a b minus but i have actually seen these recently see there's this is the start of it um there's <laughs> there's him with bell bell and then here this one right here is a really cool one that's the um tower of terror one but i have seen these and they go for a lot more now there are people who just really want this whole series it's such a cool series to have um, but they, again, they have like him on the hat and it's just, it's, <laughs> and not putting his handprint in. Clearly he's putting his face in. Um, him even was swimming with like the little mermaid. I haven't even seen this one, but it's so, these are so cool. And it goes all the way through to there. Um, yeah. Let me know if you have this theory. This series is so awesome. And even back then I only got this one back in 2005, but I kind of wish I would have gotten more. Um, such an awesome series. So I, everybody knows that I really am, am th like love the, the Atlas. So these are the map Atlas for, we have the West side, we have pleasure Island, and this was the marketplace. Of course, now it is all different. Um, it used to be downtown Disney now it's Disney Springs and they don't even have Pleasure Island anymore oh it's just one big place for shopping um but again you had to get them in pieces here but then sometimes they actually put them together so here 
This is like the magic kingdom. There were five pieces. Just to let you know, that's right. I just picked this up. I'm so excited. When it comes in, I will let you guys see it. I am just overjoyed. But um, it's coming. It's coming. Um, these things are huge. These are huge maps. Um, this one right here is Epcot. This one here is Animal Kingdom. I have the Animal Kingdom one, so I will show you what I'm talking about. Um, and right here, again, this is MGM. So this is a little bit different um, because it's not Hollywood Studios yet when this came out. These came out in 2001. So let me just show you. Oh, and then if you got all the series, you can actually they actually had a map where you can actually put these on a map. It was like a, a cast, like you could put it on the map and put them all in there. Um, but these, again, were only for cast members. So this right here is the map that I have. See what I mean? Like there's five pins that go together and they create like a map. So this was the Animal Kingdom. And of course, this was back in 2001. So it definitely doesn't look like this today. Um, but I just think they're so cool. I really would love if they would make new maps of each park and what they look like today. I think that would be really fun, especially if you had the old map and the new map. Um, but these are just so awesome. So it had like another piece that would stick out just slightly. It's like a pin on pin, but just slightly. And it would be like almost like a different color. So you can almost like see that it stuck out. Like this is the building. And over here was another building. So like it, it just, it's really, really kind of neat. I mean, you have the tree of life right in the middle and it all went together. So again, they would even have these in the books. If you were looking at the books and you want to know like, hey, I'm just curious, what is this, you know, what is this worth now? You could actually go and you could find it. So again, like this one. So here we have the maps. You even talk about this. So these are the, this is the series. There's 12 units in all. And I have, again, the, I have the Animal Kingdom one. So, so here it's saying that it was a C minus so that was a little bit more than some of the few of the others um the mgm one that was a c minus so here it's saying this one's saying that this one magic kingdom was a little bit higher and i can tell you now it's still the same like everybody wants magic kingdom there are five pieces to the magic kingdom so here it's saying a c i would say now it's probably closer to more of a d if you're looking to get the magic kingdom map um, but again, these were so cool and I would love to try to see if I can get more of them. So right here, again, a lot of these that I'm showing you are for cast members. So you had to be a cast member in order to get these pins. Like I, at the time being a cast member, I had gotten some of these, these are the lockers, which are really, really cool. They opened up. So you had like Mickey's locker, Minnie's locker. Um, I don't, I don't know if I have some of these lockers. I do have Pluto's lockers. I have Walt's locker. Walt Disney's World's locker, but I think I'm missing, I think I'm missing Donald and I'm missing Goofy. But here, so this is what it was like. So I got this. I remember going to the Disney Institute to grab this. It was in the little, um, they had a little shop for us and it was in a basket <laughs> and it was just wrapped and you could like pick the ones you wanted. But again, I thought this was so cute and it has, and look at it, it's Minnie's locker, but it's got Mickey inside. So cute. So and it opens and closes, and this one said Minnie, and then I also have Mickey. Don't want to show you guys. See, so there's Mickey. Again, you would just this is a 2003 pen. So again, this came back 2003, and he's got Minnie in his. Aw, and him and Walt. Look at that. So cute. I love it. So cute. So again, you can go down here and you could check them out. So let's say you were missing one. Here, and like, oh, which? Oh, I don't have that one. You know, you can go down here and you can look for it. Um, so these were, these were the locker series. So here, you can zoom in. See? So I had Mickey. So they're saying that all these are Bs. But again, if you were missing one and you were looking for it, you can go, oh, cool, that's the one I'm missing. You know, there are two inches. They even tell you like sometimes how, you know, what the, what the, the um, LEs are or maybe what the size are. But it's kind of nice, too, because if you're looking for more and you want to, like, go on eBay and you didn't know, like, what they were called like it's nice that they have exactly what they're called the series of each type of pins um, but I use this even now like if I want to go on eBay and try to find a pin I will look for it here I can find it here and be like oh that's right I wanted this pin and then I can go down and find out exactly what it's called so this way I can actually go put it in correctly and be able to find it 
Well, I'm hoping you guys are really enjoying this. You know, I'm just curious, like, um, would you guys, this is just, just a thought, um, would you guys be interested if you guys sent me, I know a lot of you guys know me through Instagram, It'd be fun to see if you guys have any pins from 2007 and like before that maybe you were interested to see if you could, we could find it in this book. <laughs> So maybe like if you want on Instagram, you can send me like a photo or a picture of your pin. And what I do is if I have enough p enough people send me enough pictures, um, we could look for that pin in this book and we can see what the values are. Because I think that would be really, really fun to see where it would be placed. Again, because you can actually go back at the beginning of this book. To, and, and that's another thing too. Like they have a table of contents. If you want to, you can actually go through and and find everything and then here they will actually talk about history of pins and where it all started so I, my, there's just so much with this book it's ridiculous but then we can go in here and we can look to see where the value was so again like see like how it said b was between a 16 to a 35 so if it said a b minus that means it's probably closer to a 16 but if it said a b plus that means your pin's probably more close to a 35 and so that's why i look at these like they had, remember that Minnie Mouse one that I saw that was an E? Like, that's where it's estimating the that value of that one little pin that was on that monorail where they would estimate her at. So she'd be in the middle, probably like 150. Um, and then sometimes they were actually, if they were higher, they thought that the pin was worth more than this, they would actually give you the actual price, like the actual price of the pin. Um, but again, I thought this was such a fun way to try to figure out my guides. And of course, now we do have pins that go higher. But this was pretty high back in 2007 to try to find out what, you know, cost of a pin. So if you guys find that interesting and you guys would be interested in, like, sending me a few of your pictures of your pins, you can let me know on Instagram. And when I have quite a few, we can actually go through more of this book and see if we can find more of the pins. But look at all these pins! <sighs> You have to also let me know in the comments below if you do have a book like this. Because these books are so much fun. I love these books. All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love having you. Um, this has been a lot of fun. I really enjoy this. <laughs> really enjoy this. I hope you guys do too. Um, take care. And I will see you guys again in the next video. All right. Bye now.